In this video, I'm gonna give you six ways to improve your credit score right now. And at the end, I'm gonna give you a bonus hack that you could utilize. It's gonna cost you a little bit, but it's gonna be worth the wait. The FICO score does not stand for friends in credit organizations at all. The way the FICO score started out in 1959 was by an engineer, Bill Fair, and a mathematician, Earl Isaac. So there's nothing fair about Fair Isaac, but let's look at how it's gonna benefit you. Let's break down the FICO score. About 35% of it comes from being an on-time payer. 30% of it comes from credit utilization. So if you have a bunch of credit, but you're not utilizing it to its maximum, there the impact is great. 15% comes from the age of your credit line. So if you started an account 10 years ago, it's better than an account that you just started right now. 10% comes from the type of credit. So to understand this, if you have a home mortgage versus a Home Depot card, different type of credit, the home mortgage is going to be better. 10% comes from hard inquiries. That means you go out, you're shopping for a car, you go to different car dealers, you're running your credit, those hard inquiries can impact your credit. If you wanna check your credit score, you could do it for absolutely free by going to creditkarma.com or annualcreditreport.com. So before I get to my six tips, I'm gonna give you five reasons why your score is negatively impacted. Number one, you just don't have enough credit. You don't have enough credit cards, you don't have a car note, you don't maybe have a mortgage. Number two is you have late payments. Depending on where the payments are going, like a car note or a mortgage, could have huge implications. Sometimes credit cards are a little bit less of a ding. So it just depends on your personal financial situation on how that's gonna impact your credit score. Number three is that because of your late payments, they're so in the rears that 180 days have gone by and they've charged off that credit and given it to a collection agency. They're the ones that call you at all hours of the night from all over the world. You know the calls you avoid. Number four, you've got outrageously high balances. And let's say you have a $1,000 credit limit, you use $900 of it, those high balances are causing your credit score to come down. And the last one, you've got bankruptcies or short sales or foreclosures on your record, and that is telling the credit bureaus that you might not be a worthy buyer. And now I'm gonna give you the six tips you've been waiting for. Starting off with number six, you wanna go to Experian Boost. Go to Experian.com, Experian Boost is a place where you can go, where you can utilize your Netflix, your cable, your phone, your utilities as a trade line, and that helps you build credit history. It's a great tool to use. I'm gonna put in all of the links below so you can easily find what I'm talking about. Number five, have at least one credit card or credit line open that you're constantly on time. That kind of shows that you have the habit of paying on time. Number four, don't close old accounts out. So let's say you're paying for a premier credit card. Find out if they have a free version of that that you don't have to pay a membership for. Because when you start to close credit cards off, it signals the credit bureaus that you're having a hard time paying for those credit cards, and that's why it negatively affects you. Number three, late payments. Now remember this, if you're 30 days late, it's better than being 60 days late. If you're 60 days late, better than 90, and definitely better than 180 days when you get reported to a collection agency. So remember this, making some amount of payment is better than making no payment or non-payment at all. Now, if you do, I know it might be obvious, if you do slip up, give them a call immediately, and most of the time, they'll let you pay the payment right away, and they won't show that to the collection agency. And if you've got any kind of disputes or anything, make sure you clear that up as well. Number two is high utilization. Like I said before, if you've got a $1,000 limit, you can't go $900 on your credit. The thing that happens is if you breach more than 10%, so more than $100 on a $1,000 credit limit, you start to get negatively impacted. And a lot of people don't understand that. So I'll share a hack with you in a little bit. Now going to number one, and the number one thing you can do to impact your credit is credit history. Now I call this one the piggyback effect. You become an authorized user. Now you gotta pick carefully. You can't 
pick someone who's got worse credit than you. You have to pick someone who's responsible, who has good credit. Now, a word of advice. You're gonna pick a family member, a close friend, a relative, a coworker, but keep in mind that you can impact their credit history negatively as well. So be a responsible person by paying the favor forward. So what I mean by piggybacking is you're gonna have someone with a great credit score open up a credit line or make you an authorized user on their card. What you get that's a benefit is some banks will allow three to five years of their credit history to positively impact yours. Pushing your score up sometimes 50 or 60 points, or even 100 points up. Some of the banks that do this is Discover, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and Capital One. Now these kind of things are always changing, but this is the greatest thing that you could do to increase your credit score. Before I give you my bonus tip, what I wanna hear from you is, let me know what your credit score is right now, and let me know after you use some of these tips, how much it's gone up, because I would really love to know and find out. Now, if this material was meaningful for you, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Here's the hack now. So one of the things that you could do is prepay your credit card. So if you're going on a trip and you know you're gonna spend X amount of money, go ahead and prepay that credit card. That keeps your credit utilization down. The other thing you can do is give them a call and increase your credit limit. Now you've increased the amount that you can utilize. Go ahead and click right here for a video about why some debt can actually be beneficial to you.